Okay, so our last example of uh, this set is going to be a little bit more challenging, of course. So what we have is they give us that x is equal to log, base is not given, so it's a 10, log, a log of base 10, uh, log base 10 of 6, and log of 10 base th um, of 3 is what y would be equal to. So this, what exponent should we give 10 to get 6? Well, I don't really know. But what I do know, it's uh, said that it's equal to x. So x is whatever that value is, and y is whatever this value is. And we must write the following in terms of x and y. And we should first expand it. So this is what we're going to do. How can we get 18 using 6 and 3? Well, it's easy. 18 is 6 times 3. Now, how can we expand the logarithm so that we can have a logarithm of 6 and a logarithm of 3? Well, log of 18 could have been a log of 6 plus log of base 10 log base 10 of 3 okay because when bases are the same I may multiply the interiors of the logarithm if the coefficients are the same as well and that would give me the 18 so I'm allowed to do that and this can now be written in terms of x and y this is just x plus y. So if I knew what the value of log 6 was and I knew what the value of log 3 was, to find the value of 18 I would just add these two answers that I apparently knew. Okay, so x plus y. This one, how can we get 2 using our logarithmic laws and 6 and 3? Well 2 is 6 divided by 3. So this is log, not like that, this is log of 6 minus log of 3 because we know our law says when we subtract two logarithms the one that's being subtracted may become the denominator and 6 divided by 3 equals 2 so if I knew these two answers if I knew what log of 6 was and I knew what log of 3 was then to find the log of 2 I would just subtract the 2 log of 6 minus which is x minus log of 3 which is y okay now this one I think is a little bit difficult okay how can we get 3.6 3,6 how can we get 3,6 well what I do know is I can get 3 6 squared uh, that would be 36 now what must I do with 36 to get 3 comma 6. Well, I'm going to do this. I'm going to say this is log of 36 divided by 10. So, 3, 6 divided by 10. And log of 3, 6 is actually log of 6 squared over 10. And now I'm going to expand this. I know that this is log of 6 squared minus log of 10 and I know well log of 6 squared can be 2 log of 6 which I have that's x so I've got x minus what is this well this is base 10 and 10 so this is just 1 okay so this becomes 2x minus 1 and that's it not so bad at all don't you think okay so uh, there we go.